Look what I got. It's a sonic screwdriver. Peter Stewart sent this to me. Peter is 14 years old and he's also a fan of Doctor Who. And so he turned this on a lathe. He does all kinds of woodworking. He even sent me pictures of some of the projects that he's made like, uh, oh, excuse me, I'm dropping things. It always seems funny when a 14 year old kid sends me hard, hard copy prints. <laughs> but look at that. Natural edge bowl he made. And then he made this, uh, you know, one of my garden totes. Remember, he looks like he did the ink transfer on it. And look at that. I love the sonic screwdriver. And he also asked me an Ask Mimo question, which I'll have in hopefully this week's Ask Mimo section. And he sent it to me on paper too. He tweeted it on paper. So <laughs> that's the old fashioned way to do things. You know, a lot, of, a lot of you kids might not know this, but back like when I was a kid, Google was around then, but you know, if you had a question, say like, how old is Matt Smith? I would have to, you'd, they had postcards and you would fill them out and you'd mail it in and in like six to eight weeks, you'd get a response. I really wish I had a sonic screwdriver. It'd be kind of cool for woodworking too, you know? <laughs> I, I, think, I think you could make like perfect mitered corners and that sort of thing with it, just kind of. How are you doing? I haven't talked to you in a couple of weeks. I was at the Weekend with Wood magazine conference. I've stopped saying Weekend with Wood because it just makes every, it turns everybody into a 12 year old boy. But it was really cool and it was in uh, Iowa. It's in Des Moines. I've never been to Iowa before, but Des Moines is a cool little town. It's, it's very small and I, from what I could detect, there's really no suburbs. It's just like the town and then it's farmland. <laughs> it's got this young vibe that kind of looks like they're revitalizing re it, rejuvenating it. They're putting in law spaces and, and that sort of thing. It's, a, it's just like San Francisco, except without the naked people. <laughs> But everybody I met there was really nice, and I want to especially thank Lucas Peters, one of the editors of Wood Magazine, who showed me around the facilities there. A lot of you may not know that Wood Magazine is just part of a huge, massive corporate inter entity called Meredith Company, <laughs> Meredith Publications, and they publish uh, Better Homes and Garden, and like Quilting Today, and The Knitting Bee, and <laughs> I'm just making these up, I don't know what they're called. But they, they have all of these magazines, and the, so the, the campus, it's huge, uh, and Wood is just one little small portion of it, but it's pretty cool that Meredith pretty much lets Wood Magazine do what they want, and they don't seem to get a lot of interference from them. Oh, and I ate at a restaurant, it was called the, the Zombie Burger, where you can eat hamburgers, made out of humans, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. Then all of the hamburgers were named after zombie movies. You had like Dawn of the Dead, 28 Days Later, and They're Coming to Get You, Barbara. <laughs> that was real fun. Next time you're in Des Moines, stop at the zombie restaurant. <laughs> Another weird thing about, it's the little things, you know? It's the little things that are different. But in Des Moines, it's very strange when you park along the streets downtown, you, you you don't parallel park, they have angled parking, but you don't pull in, they make you back into the angled spots. <laughs> Wood Magazine has a gallery of projects that they've made for the magazine, and they have them in one of the upstairs areas. So here's some pictures showing, like there's a recent credenza they did, I think that's in the current issue. And I spent a lot of time hanging out with Mark, the Wood Whisperer, and we got to exchange ideas on all sorts of things, and y you know the funny thing is? He doesn't whisper that much. You know, I was expecting to go and say, huh? 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 <laughs> but I also sat in on a class that he was teaching on wood finishing. It was really informative, actually. I learned a lot. I actually took notes, and so I'm going to try to apply some of the... And he gave me... Look what he gave me. He gave me one of his old DVDs, and that's... There's... Let me see if I can get the reflection off of it. See? There's Mark, looking like the Fonz. <laughs> He's going, hey, I like wood finishing. If you get a chance to go next year, I really do recommend it. I think that if it's a good way to just kind of focus your attention for two days on woodworking and kind of, you know, take it to the next level if you want. There's a lot of different classes you can take on all sorts of different topics and each class is two hours long. They're in the actual wood shops where they do the woodworking for the magazine and for the articles. The best thing about the whole event was being able to meet you. A lot of you came up and introduced yourselves and I even, here's a picture of me and Rob Zur and his wife makes cupcakes and <laughs> she made me a woodworking for mere mortals cupcake and it was delicious. It was chocolate with, with peanut butter like icing on it. <laughs> but he's just one of the many guys. So thank you all for coming up and introducing yourselves. It was really fun to shake your hands and get to talk to you for a little while. 
It's really hot out here today. I, it feels like summer now. Summer has arrived. I think it was in my last mere minutes that I showed off this angle gauge that a viewer sent me. Well, <laughs> I got another one this week. This one uh, is from Edward Holmes in England, sent me this. and. Uh, so now I have two, <laughs> but thanks Edward, I really appreciate that. You guys are the greatest. I, it, I I always kind of feel a little awkward when you guys send me stuff. I mean, I appreciate it and it's really very nice, but you don't feel obligated to send me stuff, but this is cool. So hey, I can do two angles at once, actually. <laughs> I want to thank Don Dean. Don Dean sent me a whole bunch of woodworking plans. Wow, this is cool. Even some new Yankee plans. This one's for a work table and clamp cart. There's the sewing cabinet. Do you remember back a while I was mentioning making a sewing cabinet for my wife, which I will get to. If my wife is watching this, I promise you I will get to the sewing cabinet eventually. And if you're not watching it, well, all bets are off. It's like blueprint. Wow. So I'll probably use these plans and then I will memo them and <laughs> create my own versions of them. Thanks a lot, Don. And I got a heavy box in the mail the other day from Bob. Look at this. This is a miter gauge. This is like, this is like miter gauge on steroids. This is, I, I haven't even figured it out yet. It came with a, a user's manual, a user's manual for a miter gauge. Wow, thank you so much, Bob. I really appreciate that. Check this out, a bunch of wood from Ivan Cabrera. He sent me, these are flooring cutoffs. He's, he's got uh, like wingy and zebra wood. And can you imagine how much a whole floor would cost of wingy? There's a whole bunch of pieces here. Look at all that. <laughs> wow, thanks a bunch, Ivan. Well, and finally, these two boards came to me from Kathy. Kathy Ramsey is a fan of the show. <laughs> She got these for my birthday. She got me wood. <laughs> it's a palm and this is Bacote? I, I don't know what this is. I think she got them from Rockler, but look at the grain on those things. Oh, and you guys know that I've been adding Spanish captions to my Friday videos. Well, now I'm offering Portuguese captions too. And when I say I, I mean Yuri is doing the work for me. So hi Yuri and wow, thanks a lot for all of that work. That is really cool because it's amazing how many woodworkers I hear from who are in Brazil. It's, it seems to be a hotbed of woodworking in Brazil. Woodworkers who are using a lot of reclaimed wood and pallet wood and that, and that sort of thing. So I'm really thrilled to be able to reach more people who speak Portuguese. A big thank you for all of you who bid on the three items I had up for auction for the Make-A-Wish Foundation last week. The auction ended yesterday and we sold everything for $540 for those three uh, those three projects. And so that, and then of course, I'll add my $250 <laughs> because I said if they sold for more than $250, I would match that. So that's $790 we've raised for the Make-A-Wish Foundation just in this past week. So you wanna hear the year-to-date total of Make-A-Wish Foundation? $3,489, that's how much we've raised for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. That is incredible. It's all you guys are the ones who've donated all of that money. Thank you all so much and I'll have more of those auctions too. I, I, we're only halfway through the year, so I think we can raise a bunch more. Were you guys surprised that I didn't paint the bench this week? <laughs> I was thinking about painting it, but I decided I wanted to try that oil and varnish blend. I, that worked really well, that Danish oil. Wow, give it a try. And I'd like to try out some of those other colors and see what they look like. At first, I was a little skeptical putting on that golden oak color on pine, but I think it turned out really nice on there. Don't know what I'm gonna do with that bench, but, and I can't really, it's too big to really send it or auction it off, but I think my wife wants to use it in the house someplace. <sighs> okay, everybody, that's all I got for this week. I gotta go mow the lawn now, and I'll talk to you next week.